waking this up is anywhere on the screen. I'm not looking for a specific button or an action control. I can start anywhere. And you can see how I can look underneath or continue to let it go down. The minute I let go, screen goes off. So again, preserves the, the battery life, even if you just wanted to check a notification or even the time. So you can lift it up and there's your applications, whether it be Facebook, um, you know, BBM, your phone, whatever it may be. And you can move across and you can see how gradual it is. And even moving very quickly across. So you can see uh, peak that we kind of talked about is, is not only when you uh, open up an application, right? So both well, calendar, you can see that peak of all your different feeds, right? Facebook, BBM, phone calls, Twitter, LinkedIn, messages. And the, the important thing is the application isn't paused, right? This is continuing to run. Um, and I'm, it's a reversible action, so I'm always in control of it. And there's no specific area that I you can see. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm in control of the screen. And so I can let go of it and continue with what I'm doing, right? And I can kind of flow day by day. I can move to week, to month, right? You can kind of see the bigger, bigger numbers, busier I am. So even just quick look at a month, you know when you're busy and when you're not. I can pull down and you kind of get this six month, month view and you see how flow really makes that easy. And then if you go back today, you can actually switch to people view and you get a list of all the people that you're going to be meeting. Right, so I can go on Glenda as an example. You kind of see all the different people there. And I can do that and move across. And that's it, single gesture. And actually, I can do that from anywhere. So even if I'm all the way over here, I lift up, you can still see the peak for the notifications, and pull across. Right, so it's almost like the BlackBerry Hub is kind of living underneath all of your applications. Again, you can see how I can pull across and go to my different types of feeds. I'll click on Facebook message. And you see that, you know, we haven't redirected you to Facebook. We've just opened up that specific message in a Facebook format. And you'll notice how I can just go back. And what's really interesting is there's actually two methods of peak. So if I peek anywhere in the message, like this, you can see I go straight back to that Facebook filter. But if I peek from back, I actually pull out all the different other feeds. Just in case there's a red splat next to any one of those icons, I know what else I'm looking at. So you can always peek to, to kind of the root. I'll take a minute to the messages. So you've got missed calls, you've got BBM, you've got Facebook. If I click on a BBM, Again, you see the conversation there. And that's actually a conversation of one of my BBM groups. So I can kind of click on here and tap into here and actually get information. I can email the chat. And then when I pull down from the hub, you see that? Pull down, I get all my next events. So there I can actually then click on a, an info, you know, a meeting. And again, you can see the information. I can go into conference call, I get details, the people that are all attending. And again, if you look at this, and I click on an individual here, so you can get updates on a person. Oh, there doesn't seem to be any updates there. If you notice, I'll click on an individual. Yeah. So you can see all the different information. Right. LinkedIn experience, connections that I have with them on LinkedIn, um, even updates from the company. Um, so this is where we actually poll the servers uh, to get information, the latest information about that company. Right? Um, even activity, so when did you see them last or what, what was the last communications you had with this person? Could be a meeting, could be a discussion over LinkedIn, over Facebook, whatever it may be. And you'll notice, if, again, if I peek like this, I go back to the invite. If I peek from the bottom, I go all the way back to the BlackBerry Hub. And the beauty is we haven't actually left the Hub. And so that's kind of uh, the power of the BlackBerry Hub there. Okay, so one of the new applications is BBM. 
and you can kind of see all the different chats, right? Your BBM chats, group chats, you can go to contacts, and you can see everything's visual there in terms of the, the layout. You can go to groups as well and have a look at that group. Everything's there in one single view, right? Um, and because of active frames, everything is kept up to date without me even having to go into each individual one. So I can click on chats and you'll see there, you know, Jeff Gadway has kind of given an update and it, it immediately appears there. If someone's put a new picture in, you get a red splat, some new pictures. So I can go in there and there's all the new pictures that have been uploaded. Right, and click on one. Kind of, there's, there could be comments. And you can see as I go back out, the splat is now gone. Same with calendar. Again, we've not sent you to the calendar. We've just integrated that information into this event. So you can see how I've started from there. Um, and then if I go into minimized view, you can see the latest status update as well. And that could be change of a name, display photo, whatever it may be, it's kind of kept up uh, in there. So this is actually simultaneous language input. And what this means is you can actually add up to three languages at the same time. Right? And there's all sort of the languages. Um, again, I know very few, but uh, you could put English, Spanish, French, whatever you wanted. Um, and we'll actually do some really clever language detection that will provide you the suggestions and corrections as you expected them, no matter which language you're actually typing in. So as an example here, now I've put English and Spanish. Um, I'll create a new um, light. Let's just go down here. Super notes. Okay, so you can kind of see, um, try to do this as best I can, is hola, um, rapa, and I can type in hello, hello, and you can kind of see, it doesn't correct anything there. Um, keeps more Spanish words. Hola. I've already done that. Um, I'm actually useless in hello and good. You can see how I'm just kind of flicking words up the screen. Um, and you can kind of see I've switched between English, Spanish, English, Spanish, back and forth, and it's completely been understood by, by the keyboard. Um, again, you can see how I've flicked words up at the screen. If I swipe down, I get numbers and symbols. Right, swipe again. If I want to delete words, I just swipe back anywhere on this keyboard. So you kind of see how, uh, how that control is uh, coming in place.